Has this ever happened with you that you've tried talking or singing and by doing so suddenly you've felt your voice becoming rough or hoarse or husky? This is called as vocal hoarseness and vocal hoarseness is a vocal defect which occurs when the vocal folds behave unusually or their behavior is not what it is normally or what it is usually technically speaking there are two types of vocal hoarseness a uh, one is rough hoarseness and the other is husky hoarseness rough hoarseness is when your vocal folds they kind of become loose they lose their elasticity and so um, while talking or singing they vibrate in a manner which is not regular on the other hand you have husky hoarseness in which the voice suddenly sounds very airy now this happens because while talking or singing the vocal folds vibrate as we've seen and when you're having husky hoarseness there's a small slit or a small gap in between these vibrating vocal folds through which air uh, leaks or air passes and this is the unnecessary um, passing of air this is exactly what causes the husky texture to take place the question that comes to one's mind is that could rough hoarseness and husky hoarseness happen together at the same time or parallelly well it could happen um there could be times when you're uh, trying to talk or trying to sing and your voice sounds normal and then suddenly it sounds husky and then again it sounds normal and then goes back to sounding rough so yes that's quite possible or there might be times when your voice is totally rough or totally husky so it can be in combination or individually so what exactly causes vocal hoarseness we've seen that um voice is produced when the vocal folds vibrate right so for um a defect in voice production there needs to be a defect in the structure of the vocal folds now this happens because of some of our behaviors or some of the things that we do and they are as follows first is when your voice feels tired this happens when you do not have enough of rest or you do not have enough sleep or maybe your Uh, body and your mind is feeling very tired because you're going through a lot of stress or anxiety you have to remember that having issues with your physical health and mental health can also affect the health of your vocal folds second is vocal abuse now this means too much use of your voice vocal abuse happens when you talk suddenly for a long period of time or it could happen when you suddenly start screaming or shouting some people can abuse their vocal folds and not be affected by it much but then there are other people who have a very delicate vocal structure and a little abuse can cause a lot of problem and hoarseness and defects what happens when you talk too much uh, is that your vocal folds they start rubbing against each other and it gives rise to a nodule or a callus formation this is also called teacher's nodule or singer's nodule this nodule then kind of disrupts the functioning of your vocal folds and makes your voice feel very hoarse the third is the exact opposite of vocal abuse which is no use of your voice at all this leads to something called as muscle atrophy which means that your uh, vocal folds because they are not used they kind of shrink and this shrinking also gives rise to abnormality in voice production so you see how the two extremes can be very risky too much use of voice and no use of voice at all third point is inhalation of smoke or any harmful chemical there is empirical evidence to show that um smoking or inhaling harmful chemicals affects your voice that's because when you inhale the air goes through the windpipe and we've seen how the vocal um 
folds the voice box is just above the windpipe so yes it has a direct relation smoking and your voice however there is no evidence related to acidity or food intake when it comes to a uh, voice being affected by it a lot of people think that if they have oily food or if they have ice cream or any other such food item it might just affect their vocal folds which is um, very debatable because when you're taking in food it's actually going through your food pipe and that has no direct connection to your wind pipe so they are two different pipelines but yes you do need to be a little mindful of what you're taking in your body because maybe you might be allergic to that food stuff and that can cause a little distress while talking and singing but it might not really affect directly the vocal folds the fourth behavior is actually psychological in nature which means that there is no actual change in the structure of the vocal folds but what happens is because you have a lot of stress or because you have a lot of performance pressure or anxiety you kind of stretch your neck muscles and the mus- muscles around your voice box and this leads to the production of a hoarse voice this is also called as muscle tension dysphonia and it is very very common in vocalists and singers and the fifth reason for vocal hoarseness or vocal defect is allergies or infection especially laryngitis laryngitis is when you have an infection and your vocal folds they swell so because of the swelling there's a difficulty in producing voice hey i have a voice which is um husky since the time i have started talking does that mean i have a hoarse voice or vocal hoarseness or vocal defect look the deal is that if you're born with some kind of voice which is in your case which is husky it means that it is the texture of your voice it is not necessarily a defect it is something which is very normal for your body and if you um, are not feeling stressed or it doesn't strain your voice or your voice doesn't feel tired then it is not a vocal defect vocal defect or hoarseness is when normally you have a smooth voice but suddenly because of your behavior or because of some other reason your voice just starts becoming very rough and husky so vocal hoarseness or vocal defect is pathological while your naturally normally husky voice your voice texture is something which is congenital and so it's not problematic how can you solve the hoarse voice problem now the first thing would be to give vocal rest now this is a very common um, solution which is suggested which is vocal rest total vocal rest which means that you're not supposed to even whisper or laugh loudly or cough a lot the second thing is to keep yourself hydrated now um, what happens is that there's a layer of mucosa above your vocal folds right and this uh, layer can become very sticky and thick when you hydrate yourself this layer turns out to be thin and it helps you produce voice better if you want quick relief then you could have those kitch kitch candies you know those candies which you just um, chew on and they kind of soothe your throat now this will not solve your vocal hoarseness or vocal defect problem but it will give you a temporary relief because it will um, help you to produce saliva and thus uh, it will hydrate you temporarily now the third thing is that if your vocal defect your vocal hoarseness is persisting over time then you might want to uh, visit a doctor an ENT or a laryngologist or you might want to go to a voice therapist or a speech therapist or if the problem is psychological then you might want to go to a psychotherapist okay so that was it for today's episode hope you have a fair idea of what vocal hoarseness is 
and um, how to go about if you have vocal hoarseness if you have more questions regarding this now not that i might have all the answers but if you would like to discuss then you could drop a message you could drop a comment in the comment section hello friends so this was the last episode of the series i have wanted to keep the series short and compact and i hope it was informative enough if you like my venture out of the shruti box do consider subscribing to the channel and also sharing the videos with like minded people i'm planning to come up with various series uh, related to music so it could be theory of music practical aspects of music socio politics of music so if this interests you do uh, consider staying tuned i'll see you soon goodbye